Hello, in this video I'm going to be rooting and installing Lineage OS onto my OnePlus 5 phone. The OnePlus 5 uses Oxygen OS by default, which does not have the best options for privacy, and I believe it's also proprietary. I used Lineage OS in the past before, but I had some difficulties using it, and I also still want to use Google services and such. But now I think I'm ready to try again using only free Libre software on my device. So I decided I'd make a video on the process of me doing this. So firstly, you'll want to go into the settings and go into about phone and if you spam the build number a bunch of times and you haven't already enabled developer mode it will enable developer mode I don't need to do this since I already have that enabled so after you have that enabled go into developer mode which is in system for me and developer options and you will want to enable OEM unlocking uh, this will allow you to install the custom bootloader you will also want to make sure advanced reboot is on otherwise you'll have to do weird um, like holding down the volume key and power which doesn't always work reliably so it's, it's just easier to use advanced reboot to get into the different modes when you're flashing things also make sure USB debugging is enabled and I think that's all we will need so after you've enabled those things just hold down the power button and select bootloader. Once you boot into the bootloader, it will look like this with the black background and the pixelated font. You can use the volume keys to navigate between the different options and you can use the power button to select them. Now, what we want to do is run uh, on our actual computer connected over USB. Uh, actually, first I should show how you want to install the proper things. You'll want to use the Android Studio, um, which you can download for most operating systems from their website. But if you're using GNU Linux like I am, basically what I installed was Android Tools and also these other things which may help uh, in recognizing the device. The ArchWiki has some useful information on how to get that working. I'll leave a link to these in the description. And I won't need to install these since I already have. But that's basically how it works. After you've installed these things, you'll want to check with fast boot devices. I had some difficulty getting the cable to recognize it, but basically just with messing around with that, I was eventually able to get it to recognize my device. Then once you actually have your device recognized, you'll want to run fast boot OEM unlock and that will unlock your bootloader. Uh, we get a message here. Uh, you likely can't read that at all. So it basically just says by unlocking the bootloader, you'll be able to install a custom operating system. Um, and it gives you, it basically warns you of the risks. We aren't really caring about that this time, so use the volume keys to get to unlock the bootloader and press power and that will unlock the bootloader. And now whenever it unlocks you'll get this type of warning message 
and you'll have to press the power key to actually boot it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this will wipe all the data on the drive, so you'll want to make sure you back up everything. It usually takes a long time to get through this part, so you probably should not be worried if it takes a long time to boot. Just let it do the process. It has finally booted. Uh, it's going to try installing Android, specifically the default botnet version. So I think you'll just want to go through everything. Uh, don't worry, really, we'll plan to basically just get rid of this version after this one is installed. Just connect to a network so it can get everything it needs and allow it to do its thing. Okay, so here we are in our botnet riddled version of Android. Uh, the only thing I've, well, the only things I've installed were F-Droid, um, so I could download the free video recorder I used earlier. I don't know if this is on the Play Store, I just got F-Droid for it. Also, I did not want to log in with a Google account. So, yeah, we've got all the Google stuff on here, all the bloat. This has loaded much slower than normal. Uh, the system I had before, and I think Lineage would be even faster. So you'll just want to go into the settings again, about phone, spam the build number, become developer. Then we will go to system, developer options, turn on advanced reboot, Turn on USB debugging, and I think we need to enable OEM unlocking to make sure it's still enabled, but I'm not sure if that's in here. Okay, I don't see it, so I'm just going to try without it. And we will just want to boot into the bootloader once again. I'm going to pause the recording so I can do that. I am back in fast boot recovery. We've got the device recognized. I'm going to try flashing once again. Fast boot flash recovery. It says that it's sent. Now fast boot boot recovery dot image. For some reason, it's oh oh my. Okay, fast boot, boot, and then the actual file name. And then it will boot directly from whatever the file name is. Now we're right in the team win recovery project or twerp. I'll just type in the password. Even though it's on a keyboard rather than a pin layout, you still just want to do it normally. Um, so this is a message that says uh, that if you... It's asking if you want to keep it in a read-only state or not. You want to swipe to allow modifications so that you can write things to it. So now you're going to want to download the um, Lineage OS image. We They have their releases for all different devices on the side. It's pretty easy to find. Just search OnePlus or Lineage OS downloads. I'll put the link in the description. And then copy, download the most recent one. 
So I have that downloading, and you're also going to want Magisk, which will allow you to root your device. It has lots of cool features. That's at magisk.me. So the two things we want to have installed are the Magisk and the Lineage images. We can use ADB for this, or Android Debug Bridge. So, ADB push magisk, and just the root directory, I guess. And we can do ADB push lineage, also to the root directory. Since that's an entire operating system, it will naturally take a little bit longer. On the actual twerp side, now that we've got both the files, we want to go up a level and navigate to the root. I actually want to cleanly install this, so we're going to wipe, and I think a... I don't want to do the format because I still want encryption. I'm just going to swipe to factory reset. Then let's install Lineage, add the Magisk, and we'll swipe to confirm that. And it, we'll just let the process run, and it will eventually have both of these installed. It looks like the install process has finished, and I will now reboot into the system. Uh, I don't want to install the twerp app that doesn't seem to work very well so i'm just going to press do mm. not install and it will now it mm. should boot into lineage okay we're back in lineage os now uh if you're reading the clock it's not it didn't actually take this long to boot and install it is actually fairly quick I just haven't gotten to recording the rest of the part until now. Anyway, I've installed F-Droid, which you can get from uh, f-droid.org. I've also got the screen share, and I have OSM End, which is basically a free alternative to Google Maps. Let's install some more applications in F-Droid. Firstly, I want to install Bromite. Oh wait, I guess it isn't here. Basically, the default browser is uh, pretty bad. So, I recommend Bromite for an Android browser. It's much better. You can get that from bromite.org. It looks like they have an F-Droid repository. So we can just add that. I'm actually going to pull up the page on my computer so I can scan the QR code. I think that might be the easiest way. But first, I'm going to get a QR code scanner. This one looks good enough. So I'll just scan this here. And then I'll copy. Let's try adding it in after it itself. Okay, there it is. It detected our clipboard. So now let's update. I guess the app itself has an update. Then update the repositories, and let's search for Bromite. And now we have Bromite here. Much better experience than this browser, which is really lacking in functionality. Now, 
Let's see if we can find a root specific application to check if Magisk worked properly. Here, let's get termux and then we can run the sudo command in there, maybe. And while we're at it, add away is a very helpful one. Let's open add away. Okay, you're supposed to select one, I guess. That's That doesn't seem to be working. Let's actually open Magisk and see if that works. Okay, download Magisk Manager. Allow installation from Magisk Manager. And we can install that. Okay, we need to reboot, so I'm going to end the video the recording and reboot. Okay, we're back after the second reboot. Let's check Magisk once again. It claims to be installed, but it's still asking to install. Okay, so now when I click on root based ad blocking it actually did ask magisk for comp confirmation which i think is good okay i may have accidentally disallowed that so let's go back into magisk and let's allow that okay add away root okay that actually works next it has to sync the add list file and this should work to block ads now so yeah that was the lineage os and root install i think i'll use this as my mobile operating system now